All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the worst hit piece I have ever seen on YouTube right now. It's been a few days since this video came out and it's honestly a pretty long watch if you're gonna go back and watch the original source content, which truthfully I recommend you don't. It's gonna be about an hour long for you, right? So I, I took a few days to kind of piece this one all together, go through it, right? Because Justin Wang is a YouTuber that not only do I personally enjoy watching but he's also pretty massive on YouTube, right? I'm sure many of you know his videos about Tales from the Internet and the other internet history deep dive videos that he's done on his channel. In fact, actually, fun fact, Wang is one of the first people that has ever been on the Optimus podcast back when his channel was way smaller. It was like back in like 2017, 2018. First time I really started trying to do a podcast, I actually had him on. So when I saw this video kind of making its rounds, uh, first thing I noticed is that it came from a YouTuber slash person by the name of Maddox, okay? Now, if you don't know who Maddox is, essentially this is somebody who I would say most known for the biggest problem in the universe, which was a podcast that he was involved in for a while. And then in 2017, he ended up actually, I guess, like filing what is most commonly known online as the lol suit, where he filed a $372 million harassment suit against Dick Masterson, who was one of the co-hosts on the show. Now, these claims were obviously dismissed because it was just completely ridiculous in the first place to think that that was going to happen, but Maddox is also a YouTuber, I guess. Maddox actually actually hadn't uploaded a video in like a year before this one, but Maddox came out with a video that is called, Is Justin Wang a Plagiarist and a Hack or Just a Plagiarist? And immediately, like when I saw this, I was completely intrigued because once again, I enjoyed Justin Wang's content on his channel. So I was like, there's no way, right? He's actually plagiarizing people's content. I mean, that is a pretty serious allegation in the content creator community, really in any sort of creative community anyway. Like being accused of plagiarizing other people's content or writings or whatever these are things that can get you like actually kicked out of college they can get you punished even if you're in like high school and then of course if you're on YouTube making videos your entire reputation can be absolutely destroyed by something like this so when I saw this I, I just had to watch it because I mean there's no way this is all real right so Unfortunately, though, it is absolutely the worst hit piece, and I will absolutely call it that, the worst hit piece I've ever seen on YouTube. Now, people have obviously made videos critiquing one another since the age of probably YouTube itself, I would assume, but I have never seen a video that is so disingenuous in the way that it portrays the person in it. I've never seen a video that is so unable to, like, be self-aware, at least for the creator in it. I mean, I I'll point more of that out here in a minute. I I've just never seen such a video that's out dated in the first place. This whole video is almost made as if it should have been released like five fucking years ago at this point. And actually, I have a conspiracy that I kind of want to bring up a little bit later in this video about that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive headfirst into Is Justin Wang a Plagiarist? I'm about to tell you a story of a YouTuber named Justin Wang. For those of you who don't know, Justin is a YouTuber, self-proclaimed internet historian, and tragically, a member of a new metal band. And no, that's not just a joke. He really is a member of a new metal band. New Metal, also known as Not Metal, is the soundtrack of being grounded for not eating your vegetables. It's all the things you like from rap and all the things you like from metal left on the cutting room floor so all you have left is crap. All right, I'm gonna spare you the mental neutering that is the next like seven minutes of the video because it's literally all this, right? I guess, you know, in a video where we're discussing if somebody is a plagiarist and their like whole career is essentially just bullshit, the first and most important thing we need to bring up in the video is the fact that the creator is in a band you don't like. Now, I don't know. I've heard some of Jinx's music, which is the band that Wang is in. And I mean, I'm not a huge like rock person for the most part, but it definitely isn't the worst music that's ever been made. It's not complete garbage, right? Like you can tell that they're actually pretty decent at playing instruments and making music. I mean, not every band is going to be Nirvana or somebody like that, but to pretend like they're just some sort of washed up group of individuals who have no talent is just ridiculous. And not only that, it's completely completely fucking unrelated to the point at hand. And he spends several minutes doing this, telling these like aired out super dry jokes 
that you can tell were written in his underwear at two o'clock in the morning. Like, <laughs> this is gonna get him, bro. People are gonna fucking love this one. It just, it, the whole thing is corny. I mean, it, it's just, it's goofy. This is the lamest criticism you could bring up. Like, are, are we talking about plagiarism here or are we talking about music you don't like? I mean, which one is it? Nothing seemed to be working on Justin's channel. So what do you do when you're not funny, not interesting and not original enough for people to care about who you are? You talk about someone who is. So Justin jumped on the drama bandwagon. From Pro Jared to James Charles to Adam Saleh to H3H3 and PewDiePie, there isn't a bandwagon too big or too small for Justin to jump on. All right, so I don't really get this critique of him. He's like saying, oh, he jumps bandwagons, you know? He, he'll, he'll jump on any bandwagon that he can. Like, bro, welcome to fucking YouTube. Like, I, th this guy's like 47 years old, too, is what's crazy. I'm sorry, I just looked it up. He's 45. He, he Like, he was born in 1978, and he's online fucking complaining that people quote unquote hop on topics like yeah congratulations welcome to the fucking internet everything that's ever talked about ever online is what's currently happening bro and what's funny is if you go to maddox's channel and you look at his like history of content that he's made a very good portion of it is him doing the exact fucking same thing he's trying to criticize him for doing right oh a wing will hop on any bandwagon ever he'll cover topics that people want to hear about and get views from them what a bad comment content creator like what what are you talking about man I, I just i would understand if you're like oh he's taking advantage of certain situations that shouldn't be taken advantage of in order to benefit his career but he's not he's talking mostly about shit that happened even as far back as like 25 years ago he's giving a refreshing sight on what these things are and that's pretty much it i mean he even made a video series where he went after content creators and comedians for allegedly stealing jokes and memes like he was some sort of content cop. If that sounds familiar, that's because there's already a popular web series by iDubbbz called Content Cop, which is a more nuanced, clever, and tongue-in-cheek series than Justin's shitty imitation. But that's not where the similarities end, because Justin even shamelessly called his video Meme Police. Ah yes, let's look up a synonym for the word cop and... Nobody will notice. Good job, Justin, I think it worked. All right, this is uh, not only a stupid fucking criticism, but it's also one that I want to point out as part of my grand conspiracy towards this video, right? Now, I personally think that Maddox made this video like fucking five years ago, just uh, like a ludicrously long time ago, right? And he didn't release this video whatsoever up until now when he has like randomly decided to drop it after all of this time i mean so he's referencing content cop right which by the way if you aren't aware is a series that isn't even actually available online anymore considering idubs from what i know unlisted every content cop like yeah sure you could find re-uploads of it but i mean if we're being real here content cop hasn't been actually like anything to pay attention to since like 2018 it's 2023, so it's been like half a fucking decade since anyone was actually actively watching Content Cop, and he's referencing it as if it's like some refreshing take that's just coming out in modern day. Oh, it's a, it's an actually nuanced and insightful series, unlike anything Justin makes. Yeah, the series that hasn't been updated for once again like half a decade, bro. So that is one piece that I think really indicates in all of this that this guy has just been sitting on this video for however long and just randomly decided to release it now because, I don't know, his fucking YouTube stats are down? He has a hate boner for Justin Wang? I, I really don't know. But this whole video is just garbage. I'm sorry to say, it it's not good. There's nothing of any substance here. I mean, we're like three critiques in and nothing substantial has landed. Another reason why I think this video was held onto for so long and was just now uploaded out of convenience for, you know, possibly getting your numbers up and basically getting clout is every like reference to Wang he's making you know all, all the videos that he's clipping all of the you know content that Wang made he's referencing all the screenshots in the video anything like any piece of like I guess quote evidence he uses that is from Wang is from like 2017 like 2016 content it's from way back in the fucking day when you know Wang was much smaller was making I would say a little bit different content than what he makes now he's definitely 
I think, improved the quality of his videos over time. Not to say his old videos weren't good, that's why I was into him in the first place, like the Max Headroom video and stuff, but I mean, the production quality has gotten a little bit better, he's changed his setup, you know? There's some difference to the content, there, there's a little bit difference to it, and it's not shit that's getting dropped now that's in this video. It's not Wang's most recent upload that he's critiquing. He's like, stuck in fucking the time Trump was president, out here critiquing Wang from five years ago. Like, why does this video exist? Why is it here now? Why has this been sitting on your hard drive for all this time? It's the possibility exists. That was apparently good enough for Justin to accuse Schneider of joke theft. People have this idea that just because they saw a joke inside of a picture as a caption that it's suddenly free reign for them to steal it and passes it off as their own. For him to do this hack bullshit, he needs to be called the fuck out. Justin doesn't give Schneider the benefit of doubt or consider the possibility that two people could have come up with the exact same joke independently. In fact, he feels so strongly about content theft that he's harped on about it in several videos. All right, I just wanted to include this clip of Maddox talking because he's making like a critique about Justin Wang's video, like in, in a fucking video six years ago, you know? Oh, well, Justin Wang is so shitty at YouTube that he had to make content where he was drunk talking or he was trying to pronounce words in foreign languages. Bwah Look how bad he's been at YouTube this whole time. Meanwhile, Maddox is standing in front of a $15 Amazon Basics green screen with a 480p camera recording him with no fucking lighting, probably in the corner of his bedroom. He's got stock neon fucking like vaporwave footage that you can download from YouTube or anywhere rolling in the background with a big graphical fucking 80s style logo of his name like it's 2017 and you know two different things i want to mention number one how are you criticizing other people's content how are you shitting on them talking about all oh, they're they're bad at youtube they don't know what they're doing and this is the best effort you could muster up you didn't even fucking try you know and this is coming from somebody who records an audacity and then puts it over gameplay that is recorded you know what i mean but unlike maddox i'm willing to admit yeah my content doesn't have the craziest production value uh, you know my videos from six years ago may not have been his taste like you know how are you gonna sit here and like try and act like you have some sort of insightful knowledge about content creation when you haven't been relevant in god knows how like dude i was probably seven years old last time anyone was like really hyped about this guy your most notable moment of your entire career is your lol suit where you looked like a complete fucking idiot and now you're releasing hit pieces that have sat on your hard drive for five years about about creators that truthfully are better than you at doing this. I mean, when was the last time anyone was like, fuck it, let's watch a Maddox video, bro. I'm trying to hop on YouTube and search up Maddox. It doesn't happen. It hasn't happened and it won't happen because historically, unless he was talking about somebody else's shit, his videos haven't gotten views. And then now that he's trying this approach, he's just getting roasted in the comments, so content that so it came as a surprise when i saw this tweet of justin's not too long ago it had over 6,000 retweets and 42,000 likes that's a legitimately viral tweet good job justin except justin didn't come up with that joke and the reason i know is because it's actually funny this joke was written in 2014 by a guy named jay branscombe and it was very popular with over 43,000 shares and 17,000 likes on facebook alone no, I'm not kidding you. The, I guess, first piece of evidence in the video that I guess Wang quote unquote plagiarizes people is the fact that he apparently took a joke from a viral Facebook post or something from like 10 fucking years ago that most people have probably never heard a day in their lives because like I, I haven't heard it. I don't know. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but that's your best point of plagiarism that you can fucking muster, bro. This guy stole a, a viral post from the internet from nine years ago and said it. I don't know, it's not like, I guess Wang came out and was like, hey dude, I wrote every fucking joke I've ever said because uh, from my knowledge, he hasn't, and no one would ever say or do that because that's ridiculous. But yeah, that, that, that's plagiarism to Maddox. Like, dude, does this guy have a brain? Does this guy think? It just, it's honestly embarrassingly bad that this is what we're actually sitting here fucking arguing over, dude. You are 45 years old. You're pushing 50, my boy, you know? And, and this is what you're doing with your time. Not to say, like, older people can't do YouTube or like make YouTube videos, but when you're 45 and like, I don't know if this guy has kids or not, but your kids are like, hey dad, can we go play catch out in the yard? Hey dad, can you take me to my baseball game? And you're like, nah, son, I, I gotta publish this hit piece I wrote about a guy who's better at YouTube than me from five years ago that makes literally no fucking points whatsoever. 
That that game of catch will have to wait, bud. Like, has this guy ever been on Twitter? 95% of all of the jokes on the internet that anyone uses at any given time are recycled jokes from somebody else. And it's weird because, like, he's trying to be like, oh, yeah, Wang's not even funny. I could tell this joke wasn't his because, you know, he's not even funny. Every single joke that Maddox has said in this video sounds like it was written for fucking Ray William Johnson, dude. Like, his style of humor and presentation in his videos is literally like some fucking Ray William Johnson type content, bro. But yet he's on here telling everybody else what they need to be doing. Like, guy, come on, bro. This is the, like, type of content presentation and everything. Once again, I'd, I'd expected it when I was, like, nine, you know? When my friends came over and we put on the newest Ray William Johnson video. People were hyped for this guy 20 years ago, though. I'll give him that. I mean, fucking definitely a little past his prime. So, I mean, we're, we're by the way, only, like, nine minutes into this hour-long video. And this is how many holes can already be poked into it. If I wanted to sit here for four hours and decimate every single piece in this video, I could. Really, anyone could. It's that bad of a video. But I'm gonna spare you guys the IQ point shaving that continuing this video will actually cause. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtoOptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, calling Justin Wang a hack and signing out.